Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Baishi's Chinese language learning program. Uh, in our previous lesson 123, we talked about some uh, negative words in Chinese uh, negative sentence. But still have some friends ask me when and how to use bu and may or may you to make negative sentence in Chinese. Okay, today I want to give you more detail or more examples about how to use a bu and may or may you to make some negative sentence in Chinese. Okay, first let's see the negative words bu. Bu is a mark of a negative sentence. Okay, bu can be used in many situations. Let's see the first one. There are uh, several uh, basic sentences with bu to make negative sentence. The first one is we use a subject plus bu plus verb. We already talked about in uh, lesson 123. Okay, subject bu plus verb plus object. And sometimes we use um, subject plus bu and directly add the adjective to express the negative meanings. Okay, let's see some examples. For example, 他不想玩 他不想玩 You can see this 他 is subject 不想 is a verb want So this is an example for this subject plus 不 and a verb 我不喜欢他 我不喜欢他 我 Subject 不 喜欢 is a verb like 他 is an object him 今天不热, 今天不热, 热 is adjective. So we use 不 plus adjective to, to you know, form a negative sentence. 他不高兴, 他不高兴, 高兴, happy. 高兴 is also a very um, adjective word. So you can see we use 不 plus adjective used as a just like you know negative verb to make a negative sentence in Chinese. Okay, the second one bu is used to describe the present, future or habit you know, habitual events. For example, 我不喝酒, 我不喝酒, means I don't drink. This is my habit. I don't drink. I'm, I'm this is how I am. 我不会喝酒, 我不会喝酒. This you can say I don't drink, or you can say I don't know how to drink. This is also, you know, the present or the habitual events is describe this uh, meaning. Okay, let's see may or may you. Okay, um, in lesson 123, we talked that may or may you can be used to express the negative actions that happened in the past or you can say that the actions didn't happen in the past so because you add the may or may you you make the action didn't happen for example 他没有 or 没拿我的书 so the action is take so if we add may you or may that means take this action not happen in the past Okay, you didn't take my book. Okay, another example is 你昨天没有 or 没来我家 你昨天没有 or 没来我家 Okay, 昨天 means yesterday, 没有 来, this action, come to 我, my, 家, house Okay, the action, come, didn't happen yesterday So, 没有 or 没来, this is the action, means this Calm, this calm action didn't happen. But sometimes uh, may or may you um, can be used to express negative actions that happened in the present. Okay, let's see some examples. For example, 我没有钱 or 我没钱. 我没有钱 or 我没钱. 没有, don't have. I don't have. Okay, this is an, the present action. I don't have any money. Okay, 这儿没有人, 这儿没有人, 
for example, this sentence means I checked this place or this room. I found that there is no one in, in there. I'm sorry, this is there are no one in there. It's not is. I'm sorry for the mistake. Okay, you can see this is, um, uh, you know, the negative action and means the present action and that didn't happen in the present. Okay, sometimes may or may you can be used uh, under the following conditions. The first one is the uh, action is not complete. For example, 我还没 or may you 看完那本书. Okay, this action uh, happened but it's not complete. This is this situation, okay? 我还没 or may you 看完那本书. 看完, it means finish reading. This means I already start read this action, but I didn't finish it. So this may or may you have this, you know, um, function, you know, to describe the action is not complete. Or you can say, may or may you was used at the end of the sentence or in the sentence to form question sentence. Or you can use you or may you or you may you to make question sentence. For example, 你有没有想我? This action, 想, miss. Happen or not happen? This is just like, uh, you know, the question you ask me. Do you miss me or not? 有没有? Another example you can add is, you know, may you at the end of the sentence, you know, to form the question sentence. 你看完了那本书没有? 你看完了那本书没有? This is ask you finish this book or not. The may you is 有没有? Is finish this book happen, finish or not? This sentence is the same as this sentence, the last sentence. 你看没看完那本书? They are the same meaning, but you can see this one have May you at the end. This one has may you verb plus may plus verb. Okay. 你看没看完那本书? 你看没看完那本书? And this, this mean also means, did you finish that book or not? Okay, I hope these um, more um, example sentence can help you to know how to use bu and may or may you to make the Chinese negative sentence correctly. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay? Thank you so much. 再见!